morning. I don't know what is that on yet. Audio. You can hear me at home, Brittany. No problem. Not yet. Buckle up, Buttercup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. Come to the middle of your mat and towel. It's okay. You're allowed to feel what you feel. Look straight ahead in the mirror. Nobody brand new, so we can get started right away. This is going on. This is, I'm, I'm recording this so I can tell the person who hears this later. This is like a whole ice bath. Yes, this is fun. Okay, I love that journey. It's very um, Nordic. Nordic. They jump, they go in the sauna, and they steam up, and then they go jump in ice baths. Yeah, they do. They look great, so I would follow them. Let's begin. We begin with breathing deep, breathing good for your lungs and your respiratory system. Listen carefully, inhale by the nose, exhale by your mouth, inhale and exhale, happen through your throat, nose and mouth, only passageway. Breathe as much as possible, as long as possible, and as slow as possible. Interlock your 10 fingers underneath your chin, full grip. Always your hands should be touching your chin like glue. Nice relaxed shoulders, swallow a couple of times, concentrate one point on yourself, meditate. Inhale, head down, elbows up, start please. Fill your lungs all the way to the top, stomach in, chest up, spine straight, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back, way, way, way back. Bring your elbows forward. Elbows should touch each other away from your chest. Hold it, inhale, head down. Use your throat when you're inhaling all the way up until you feel a little bit dizzy, very normal. Exhale, head up slowly, push your hands on your chin, neck might hurt a little bit, also normal. Keep your eyes open, please don't close your eyes, elbows touch. Again, inhale, arms and head movement should be synchronizing exactly together. In six seconds, full lungs, exhale, head up, only bending at your cervical spine, the rest of your spine stays perfectly straight, wrist straight, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, elbows touch. Again, inhale, take your time, look in the mirror. See your rib cage visible in the mirror. Head down, elbows up, full lungs. Exhale, head up, look back. Look at the wall behind you and bring your elbows forward more. Elbows should touch each other away from your chest as far as they go. Inhale, head down, stomach in. Suck your stomach in, tighten it up, and hold it, full lungs. Exhale, head up, push your hips forward. Hips, muscles contracted. Solid, concrete, one piece, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep your stomach in, lift your elbows up, open your rib cage, opening your lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up, look back, push your hands on your chin and grip tight. 10 fingers, including your thumbs, interlock position, elbows touch. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, Six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, inhale, stomach in. Lift your elbows up, open your rib cage. Make room for your lungs to expand. Exhale, head up. Exhale all your air out, all the way out. The more you exhale, the more you can inhale next time. Elbows touch. Inhale each time. Try to inhale a little bit more than you did the last time. More and more, stomach in, more, hold it. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. Eyes open, wrist straight, elbows forward. Look back, elbows touch. And that's enough, arms down side, well done. Stand still there, look straight ahead, breathe in. Breathe out. Let's do it again. Interlock your 10 fingers, all the 10 fingers, including the pinkies underneath your chin. This looks so good, Jamie. Body weight in the heels, shoulders down, chest up, stomach in, begin, inhale, one, two, stomach in, three, 
four chest up, five, six full lungs, exhale, head up, hi Brittany, look all the way back, grip tight, wrist straight, eyes open, elbows forward, elbows touch, again inhale, remember arms and head movement should be synchronizing exactly together in six seconds, full lungs, exhale, head up, synchronize the movement here, slowly bending as deeply as possible over the six seconds at your cervical spine, elbows touch, inhale, head down, suck your stomach in, the more you suck your stomach in, the more you will use your lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Push your hips forward, elbows forward, eyes open. So good, Sandy, elbows touch. Again, inhale, look in the mirror. See your rib cage visible in the mirror, sucking your stomach in, chest up, spine straight. Exhale, head up. Exhale all your air out, all the way out. The more that you exhale, the more fresh oxygen you can inhale next time, elbows touch. Inhale each time, try to inhale more than you did the last time. More and more and more. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. Slowly, completely emptying your lungs, getting them ready for the next breath, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, suck your stomach and fill your lungs to their maximum expansion capacity, hold it, exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, slowly emptying the lungs completely, elbows forward, eyes open, elbows touch, and now inhale slowly, filling your lungs to the top, this is how you improve the elasticity of your lungs, hold it, exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, push your hips forward, hips, muscles contracted, so nice everyone, solid, concrete, one piece, elbows touch, inhale, one, so nice, you may go two. Beautiful, Vivian. Three. I love it, Haley. Four. Looking good, Scott. Five. Nice, Diane. Six. Exhale. Head up. Slowly push your head back. If I didn't say your name, you still look great. Elbows forward, eyes open, elbows touch. Again, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. Head up. Very nice, everyone. Wrist straight, eyes open, elbows forward. Looks so good, Erica. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Suck your stomach in. Compression of the abdominal wall. Contraction of the abdominal muscles. Suck it in. Tighten up. Hold it. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Exhale all your air out, getting your lungs ready for the final breath. Pranayama breathing. Elbows touch. Here it is, last one. The best one. Keep inhaling, even if your lungs feel full, suck your stomach in, try to inhale a little bit more, hold it full. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. Grip tight, wrist straight, eyes open, elbows touch. And that's enough, arms down side, well done. Stand still, look straight ahead, breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose. Now we begin with our postures, please. Beginning with Ardha Chandrasana and Pada Hastasana, the half moon pose with hands to feet pose. Bring your feet together nicely, heels and toes touching each other. Arms over your head, sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release the index fingers, thumbs cross. Nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. Hands, palms touching each other like glue up to the wrists throughout the entire posture. Stretch up out of the waist and right left several times with your body, right and left and right and left, you should feel stretching down both sides of the body all the way up to your fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. When you can't stretch anymore, please stop in the middle. Elbows locked, arms always touching with the ears, no gaps between the biceps, arms, ears. Hips a little bit forward towards the mirror, opening up your hips and pelvis. Upper body leaning back a couple inches, opening up the chest, and the rib cage throughout the posture maximum body weight on the heels arms and head back chin up concentrate one point in the mirror don't even blink your eyes inhale breathing full lungs hold the breathing stretch up out of the waist one more time touch the ceiling absolutely straight line slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows or your knees continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility you're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body all over inside out from bones to skin fingertips to toes hips more forward upper body back more body weight in the heels push your left hip forward to keep your both hips in one line bring your right shoulder forward to open up your chest like a flower petal blooming come down and push and push and push inhale breathing come up 
Stop in the middle, keep your arms there, chin up. Inhale, stretch up, touch the ceiling. Slowly bend your body to the left without bending the elbows or the knees. Nice, Michael. push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. You gotta come down and push, create a tremendous stretching feeling in the right side of your body, inside out. Bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Nice with the toes, Vivian. Hips more forward, upper body back more. Body weight in the heels, chin up. Push your right hip forward. Two hips in one line from the side. Bring your left shoulder forward, opening your chest. Nice, come down, push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up. Stop in the middle, keep your arms there. Backward bending, don't be scared. Take a deep breath and drop your head back, just your head. Look at the floor behind you. Grip tight, arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards from the coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine backward bending. Push your upper body back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on the heels. Inhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything push forward towards the mirror. Stay with it. Arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, breathing, come up. And stop in the middle. Next is Pada Hasasana. Bend your knees and put your hands on the floor in front of you. Touch the floor and then move your hips right and left several times. Right and left. Right and left, you wanna make sure your lower back is nice and loose and comfortable and easy and flexible. This is a U-turn from the back bend to forward bending. So please be careful. Your spine is not warmed up yet. It's getting there, right and left. Depending on the time of day that you woke up, your spine feels very different. And when you wake up in the morning, it it depends a little bit on what you did when you woke up. So if you woke up and said, I cannot wait to be alive today, your spine probably feels a little different right now. But if you woke up thinking expletive, expletive, did anyone make expletive coffee? Your spine might feel a little different. Okay, let's do it. Grab your heels from behind. Step on the five fingers of each hand. Your little baby fingers touching each other side by side. I'm being recorded, so I'm not going to say the expletives. Pull on your heels and stretch your upper body down. Touch your stomach on the, the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. From the side, no gap anywhere. Pull on your heels and slowly push your knees back. Try to lock your knees. Create a tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation underneath your legs from your coccyx to your heels with your smiling, happy face. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. Pull your heels, push your knees back, and lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, and lock your knees. Roll forward, lock your knees. Eyes open, touch your face, and lock your knees. Last chance. Lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms and head together. Stretch the spine all the way up. And then arms down the side, stand still and breathe. Let's do it again. Feet together, heels and toes touching each other. Arms over your head, sideways, palms together, interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed, check in on yourself in the front mirror, hold yourself accountable, nice tight grip, hands, palms touch, light glue. It's the first thing to go as soon as you move into the asana, so just make sure you hold yourself accountable to it. Body weight in the heels, chin up, inhale, stretch up, touch the ceiling, slowly bend your body to the right, and push your hips to the left without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously, without stopping, without intermission, push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. A little bit more body weight into the heels, Jamie. Push your right hip forward to keep both hips in one line. Then bring your left shoulder forward to open up your chest more. Come down, push. A little bit left shoulder, a little bit right shoulder forward. Come down, push, push, push. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Stop. Then we'll keep your arms there. Inhale, stretch up, touch the ceiling, slowly bend to the right and push your hips to the left. You got to come into the asana here in second set. Try to let your body remember where it was and come to that place with even calm breathing. Even if it feels really challenging, notice yourself, breathe easy. Push your right hip forward. Bring your left shoulder forward more. Come down, push, push, push. Inhale, come up. Stop in the middle, keep your arms there, back bending, don't be scared, take a deep breath and drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you, grip tight, arms back immediately, touch the wall, bend your spine backwards from the coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine backward bending, palms together, push your upper body back, yes I mean you, try to fall down backwards, inhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything push forward, so beautiful, Jamie, arms back, 
Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, breathing, come up and stop in the middle. Next is Padahasthasana, bend your knees and put your hands on the floor in front of you. Already feeling so different between first and second set. First set, oh my God. Second set, oh my God. I feel good. This is my body. Okay, let's do it. Grab your heels from behind, stepping on the five fingers of each hand. Little baby fingers touch each other side by side. Elbows behind your legs on the calf muscles throughout the posture. Get a nice tight grip. Pull on your heels and stretch your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees from the side. No gaps anywhere. No room for light or space between the upper body and the lower body. Then slowly, without stopping, without intermission, push your knees back and try to lock your knees. Create a tremendous stretching feeling. Little bit pain sensation underneath your legs from your coccyx to your heels with your smiling happy face. Shoulders up a little bit, Tammy. Pull your heels. You got it. Push your knees back back and lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, lock your knees, roll forward and lock your knees, eyes open, touch your face and lock your knees. These look so gorgeous. Last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together, stretch the spine all the way up and then relax the arms down by your side. What a grip, Vivian. I would not want to get dope slapped by you. Awkward pose, Ukatasana, right foot steps to the right, six inches apart, heels invisible behind the toes. Your feet look like a perfect capital letter H. Six inch gap between the toes and the heels. Don't change your feet throughout the entire posture. Arms up parallel to the floor. Five fingers together. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror, trying to touch the mirror. Tricep muscles, nice and tight contraction. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, hold it in. Sit down, feet flat position. Spine is straight to begin with until your hips touch the chair. Bring 100% body weight into the heels, then lift your chest up, bend your total spine, backward bending. Bring your upper body back. Suck your stomach in, compression of the abdominal wall. Open your knees, keep six inches between toes, heels, knees, and hands. Chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathing, come up. Keep your arms there, concentrate and meditate. Stand up on your toes, maximum, like a ballet dancer. Stretch your spine, chest, head, everything stretching up. Imagine I'm pulling you to the ceiling like natural human traction. Sit down on tops of the toes, spine straight position. Start to finish throughout the posture, hips and head touching the wall behind you. Sit down halfway until your hips touch the chair. Knees up, chest up, Upper body leaning back, spine straight, come up higher on your toes, knees up towards the ceiling, hips should not go below the chair, you're sitting on a chair, inhale, breathing, come up, heels down, third part, make sure your heels are still invisible behind your toes, come up a little bit on your toes, bring your knees together, exhale, suck your stomach in, and you go down for 10 counts, all the way down, all the way down, you're leaning against the wall, continuously stretch your spine up to the ceiling, half inch gap, between the hips and the heels. You're leaning against the wall, hips and head touching the wall, no gaps anywhere. Knees together and forward towards the mirror. Stomach in, spine straight, thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to your legs. From the side, you look like a box. Take a deep breath. Keep your knees together and your spine straight. Come up slow. Slow you go, better you do. Heels down, right foot back to its place and arms down the side and stand still. Breathe in. Breathe out. Second set, right foot steps out, six inches, heels invisible behind the toes. Arms up, parallel to the floor, stretch your arms forward. Shoulders down, chest up, exhale, stomach in, sit down until your hips are in the chair. You gotta sit down, lean your spine straight forward to begin with. So get your hips down, keep leaning forward. Now bring the body weight into the heels. At the same time, try to lift your chest up, bend your total spine backwards. Keep your stomach in, keep six inches between the knees and the feet. Chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, like you're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathing, come up, keep your arms there. Concentrate and meditate, stand up on your toes. Right now is when you have the most control to get as high on your toes as possible. Take advantage of that. Then sit down on tops of the toes. As you sit down, keep bringing your heels forward and your knees up. Sit down halfway until your hips touch the chair. Knees up, chest up. Upper body leaning back, come up higher on your toes, knees up to the ceiling, you got this. Hips don't go below the chair, you're sitting on a chair. Inhale, breathing, come up, way to hang tough, Erica. Heels down, third part, come up a little bit on your toes, 
Bring your knees together, exhale, stomach in, and you go down, all the way down, thinking up with the spine, all the way down, leaning against the wall. So nice, Scott. Knees together and forward towards the mirror, stomach in, spine straight. Make sure that as you're coming down, you keep your hamstrings contracted, your inner thigh is contracted to keep the gap between the hips and the heels. Knees together and forward towards the mirror, stomach in, spine straight from the side, you look like a box. Take a deep breath. Keep your knees together and your spine straight, come up. Keep your stomach in as you come up. Very nice, heels down, right foot back to its place and arms down side and stand still. Breathe in, breathe out. Eagle, Garudasana, look at your arms in the front mirror, make a quick mental identification between the right and the left, easy to mix them up. Bring your feet together nice, arms over your head, right arm, zoom, underneath the left arm. Cross your arms, each other, and twist like ropes. Bring your hands, palms together in front of your face so that your thumbs are toward your face, little fingers are towards the mirror. Pull your elbows down. If you need to, you can interlace your fingers. Sit down until your hips are in the chair. Upper body leaning back. Stay down there. Lift your right leg up and bring it over the left leg as high as possible. Nice, Jamie. Put your right foot underneath the left calf muscle. Eventually, all the five toes will be visible in the front mirror. Then sit down more and twist. Bring your upper body back. No gap anywhere between ankle and calf muscle. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left. Eventually, your feet, knees, elbows, and hands, everything will be in one line in the front mirror. Looking good. Sit down more. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, bring your upper body back more. Suck your stomach in. Sit down more. Pull your elbows down more, bring your upper body back at the end. Change, feet together, arms over your head, stretch up. Right, left arm, underneath the right arm. Hands, palms together in front of your face. So again, if, you're, if you need to interlace your fingers, do it. Pull down until your fingertips go below your nose. Don't let your fingers go any higher. Sit down until your hips are in the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay down there. Lift your left leg up and bring it over the right leg as high as possible. Very good. Cross your legs each other and twist like ropes. Put your left foot underneath the right calf muscle. Yes, keep pointing the toes, Caroline. Yes, yes, yes. Then sit down more. Pull your elbows down more. Upper body back, knees left. Upper body right, opening up the largest joints in the human skeletal system. Seven on each side, sit down. Pull your elbows down, suck your stomach in. Upper body back at the end. Change, feet together, arms over your head. Stretch up. Right into the second set we go, right arm zoom underneath the left arm, hands, palms together in front of your face. If you're thinking there's only six joints, then you are wrong. Pull your elbows down, suck your stomach in, sit down until your hips are in the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay down there, lift your right leg up and bring it over your left leg as high as possible. Wow, Haley, working so hard on this posture. I'm so proud of you. Very nice, sit down. So it's ankles, knees, hips, wrists, elbows, glenohumeral, and something thoracic, I always forget the name, sit down, pull your elbows down, upper body back at the end, change, feet together, arms over your head, that makes seven, arms over your head, left arm, zoom, underneath the right arm, hands, palms together in front of your face, suck your stomach in, center your hands on your face, so that as you pull down, you're working evenly, sit down until your hips are in the chair, and just notice if one of your sides are stronger, upper body leaning back, stay down there, lift your left leg up, and bring it over the right leg as high as possible, so impressed. Put your left foot underneath the right calf muscle. Suck your stomach in, sit down more. Pull your elbows down more. So as you're sitting down, keep lifting your chest up, even if it's a little bit. A little bit down with the hips, a little bit up with the chest. A little bit down with the hips, a little bit up with the chest. Body weight in the heel, stomach in. Pull your elbows down and bring your upper body back at the end. Change, feet together, arms over your head, stretch up. Relax the arms down by your side. Take a moment here in stillness. Breathe in, breathe out, party time, cheers. Have a sip of water or whatever beverage that you brought is your favorite. Yeah. You know, one of the theories is that water is actually not a very good idea in class. If you brought water, sorry. <laughs> um, but so you are sweating. You're sweating and you're, you're producing those metabolites as you sweat, they're coming out of your body. They're sitting on your body, really healing for the skin, that, that salt bath that you're giving your skin, very, very healing for the skin. However, it is coming out of your body, so you have to put it back in. And as you drink water, you're actually, 
expediting the process. As you drink water, you're flooding out your electrolytes a little, electrolytes a little bit faster. So in class, good to have those electrolyte waters or a little electrolyte packet in your water or something that is electrolyte rich to be drinking in class. So just a little, just a little FYI for your practice. But I'll tell you one thing, oh, touching a cold water bottle in class can have magic powers. If you ever touch an ice cold water bottle in the middle of your class when you're thinking no one cares about me, that water bottle cares so much about you. Okay, come back to the middle of your mat and towel for standing head to knee. Dande Mana, uh, John Yushirasana. You can hear me okay, Brittany? All good? Great, okay. Wipe your hands for a better grip. Shift your weight into your left leg. Interlock your 10 fingers and grab your right foot in front of you three inches below the toes with a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Look in the mirror. Concentrate one point on your standing knee to make sure that your standing leg is absolutely locked to begin with. You don't have the knee. Your standing leg should be solid, concrete, one piece, a lamppost, unbroken, no knee. Then only inhale breathing, right leg lift it up and stretch it forward towards the mirror, standing leg lock. Take a deep breath. Continuously kick your right leg heel forward towards the mirror so you can turn your right foot in from the ankle towards your face, all five toes turning in. If both knees are locked and still you can balance there comfortably, begin to bend your elbows down. Elbows touch the calf muscle and eventually your elbow should go down below the calf muscle. Change, come up, be together. Arms down the side. If your hands Weight in your left leg, your right leg, interlock 10 fingers and grab your left foot in front of you, three inches below the toes. All 10 fingers interlocked, thumbs included in the grip. Look in the mirror, concentrate one point on your standing knee to make sure that your standing leg is absolutely locked to begin with. Fix your standing foot, Brittany. It went out a little, it went in towards your center line. I want it to come out a little bit. Your heel, your heel, fix your heel. Kick your heel, aha. Uh -huh. Kick your heel out, turn your toes in, both knees locked. Oh, inhale, breathing. <laughs> Left leg, lift it up and stretch it forward towards the mirror. Sorry about that, a little bit of a brainstorm. Kick your heel out, turn your toes in, try to get both knees locked so that from the side, your legs look like a perfect upside down L. If both knees are locked, then you can bend your elbows down. Elbows touch the calf muscle. Eventually, your elbow should go down below the calf muscle. Change, come up, feet together. Arms down side. Do the back bending one second. Put your hands on your hips. Push your hips forward. Drop your head back. Feels so good. Let's do that one again. Wipe your hands. Weight in your left leg. Interlock 10 fingers and pick up your right foot in front of you. Pick it out in front of you. Very good. Don't let the foot come underneath your hip, Michael. Keep your heel out in front of you. Very good. Now look straight ahead in the mirror and concentrate. Think deeply about your standing knee, no knee. Then only inhale breathing, right leg lift it up and stretch it forward towards the mirror, standing leg locked. Try to keep pushing the inside of your standing foot down and then notice the weight all over your standing foot, equally the same. Don't bring the weight to the side. If both knees are locked, you feel a cramp on the top of the thigh, yeah, do that again, Diane. Yes, then bend your elbows down. Elbows touch the calf muscle and eventually they go below. It's normal to fall out when you learn something new. If you're ready, bring your body down, chest down, head down, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, and touch your forehead to your knee. Change, come up, feet together, arms down side. Wipe your hands, shift your weight into your right leg, and pick up your left foot in front of you. Don't think, don't worry, just pick up the foot and get after it with the body that brought you here today. Be honest with yourself, be encouraging to yourself, and be patient. Look in the mirror, meditate on your standing knee, thigh muscle contracted, inhale breathing, left leg lift it up and stretch it forward towards the mirror. Here's where you really activate the determination. You did the patience thing and now you activate your determination. Kick your heel out, turn your toes in, notice your breathing. Your breathing is your number one tool in determination. If both knees are locked, bend your elbows down. Elbows touch the calf muscle and eventually the elbows go below the calf muscle. And if you can still balance there with your smiling, happy face, bring your body down, chest down, head down, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach and touch your forehead to your knee. Change, come up, be together, arms down side. Do the back bending one second, put your hands on your hips, push your hips forward and drop your head back. Well done, standing bow pulling pose. Don Damana, Don Your Rasana. Bring your right hand out, 
with your elbow touching close to your body and your palm facing up, you're thinking you have money in your hand. Bring your hand out to the right. Don't turn your wrist. Don't drop the money. Grab your right foot behind you. Hold inside at the ankle, five fingers together in the grip. Left arm, stretch it up in front of you. Chin close to the shoulder, standing leg lock throughout the asana. Bring your knees together to start. Concentrate one point on your standing knee. Inhale, breathing. Charge the body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and eventually your chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously, keep kicking up as hard as possible. You should see your foot come over the top of your head, both feet in one line from the side. Kick back. Right shoulder behind the left shoulder. Stretch your left fingertips forward towards the mirror. Touch the mirror. Touch your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. In other words, two shoulders in one line. Kicking and stretching equal. Simultaneous. 50-50. If you fall out, get right back in. Body down more. Stretch forward more. Kick back more. Kick harder. Body down and kick up one more time. Change. Feet together. Arms down side. It's a long one. Left hand out. Palm facing. Bring your hand out to the left. Hold your left foot inside at the ankle, five fingers together. Right arm, stretch it up in front of you. Chin close to the shoulder. Standing leg lock throughout the posture. Bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing and charge the body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking up as hard as possible. Your foot coming over the top of your head in the front mirror. Both feet should be in one line from the side. Kick back and stretch forward. Chin up. Oh, so beautiful. Kick back, stretch forward. Two shoulders in one line. Kicking, stretching equal. Simultaneous 50-50. You got this. Body down more. Stretch forward more. Kick back, kick harder. Body down. Kick up one more time. Change. Together. Arms down side. That posture is a lot like falling in love. At first, there's so much hope. As soon as you set up in the asana, you're filled with all this hope and joy and exhilaration. And the moment you charge the body forward, you're like, expletive, this is going to take work. If I want this to ha work out, I'm, this is going to take work on my part and cooperation. Okay, so let's do it again. Right hand out. With that being said, enjoy. Second set. Right hand down. The second set's faster. Hold inside at the ankle. <laughs> Just like probably a second marriage. Left arm, stretch it up in front of you. Chin close to the shoulder. Standing leg lock throughout the asana. Bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing. Boom. Charge the body forward. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Chin up. Body down more. Kick back more. Kick harder. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Bring your body down and kick up one more time. Change, feet together, arms down side. Well done, left hand out, palm facing up. Turn your hand out, grab your left foot behind you, hold inside with five fingers together at the ankle. Right arm, stretch it up in front of you, chin close to the shoulder. Standing leg locked throughout the asana, knees together to start. Concentrate, meditate one point. Inhale, breathing, and charge the body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror, simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling, bring your body down from the lower spine, and so the abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor, so you keep trying to bring your body down throughout the asana. Kick back and stretch forward, two shoulders in one line, body down more, stretch forward more, kick back more, you got it, kick harder, body down, and kick up one more time. Change, feet together, arms down, side, stand still, breathe in, breathe out. One step to the back of your mat and towel for Tula Dandasana, the balancing stick posture. Bring your feet together nicely. Arms of your head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release the index fingers. Thumbs crossed, arms and ears together. Chin up, body back a couple of inches. Inhale, breathing, right leg. Step it forward, big step. Both knees locked, arms and head together. And you come down immediately until your whole body is parallel to the floor. From the side, you look like a perfect capital letter T. Not a broken umbrella. Body down, leg up, come down, leg up. Every muscle contracted. Stretch, 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 change. Feet together, arms and ears together. Inhale, breathing. Left leg, step forward, a big step. Both knees locked. Arms and head together and you come down immediately until your whole body is parallel to the floor. Heart pounding out of your chest cavity. You breathe easy. Get your leg up, pointed toes, both knees locked. Change. Feet together and arms down side. Stand still. This posture is only 10 seconds. The moment you hear, you step forward. If you're late, it's over. Let's do it again. Feet together, arms over your head, palms together. Make up your mind. 
arms and ears together, chin up, body back a couple of inches. Inhale, breathing. Right leg, step forward, big step, both knees locked, arms and head together, and you come down immediately until your whole body is parallel to the floor. You gotta come your body down, body down, leg up. Come down, leg up, come down, leg up. Every muscle contracted. Get your leg up, point to toes, stretch, 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 change. Beautiful. Arms and ears together, inhale, breathing. Left leg, step forward, big step. Both knees locked, arms and head together, and you come down immediately. Whole body parallel to the floor. Keep the arms and ears together. They wanna separate, let them keep touching. Chin away from the chest, little bit body down. Get your leg up, stretch, 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 change. Beautiful, Diane. Feet together and arms down side. One step off to the left of your mat and towel for the standing separate leg stretching posture. Dande mana bhaktapada, paschimottanasana. Bring your feet together, arms over your head, Right leg steps to the right, a big step. Four feet minimum at the same time, arms down parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line, feet very slightly pigeon-toed. Suck your stomach in and slowly bend your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Keep the chin forward, looking forward and your knees locked. Grab your heels from the outside, five fingers together in the grip. If you can't grab your heels today, then grab the sides of your feet. Pull on your heels as hard as possible stretch your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor before try to touch your forehead to the floor if your forehead is not yet touching open up your legs more and more chin up roll forward pull harder keep pulling eventually your spine will be perfectly straight perpendicular with the forehead touching the floor in between the feet first your legs are stretching then your hips are stretching then your lower spine upper spine whole spine whole body is stretching 360 degree angle from your coccyx to your heels, coccyx to your forehead. Keep your chin forward, roll forward, touch your forehead to the floor in between the feet. Inhale, breathing, come up. Step your right foot back to its place and bring your arms down by your side, stand still. So if you are, a couple of you guys are, are doing a pretty big hop to bring the feet back together, I noticed that. I think the safest thing to do is if you're so far apart that you can't step right back. The best thing to do is to heel toe your foot a little bit closer so that the step is shortened enough so that you're not like, and we're praying that everything works out. So just make sure that you, it, the whole point of being in this practice is to do things safely and slowly so that you heal the body, not injure it. Second set, feet together nicely, arms over your head, right leg steps to the right, a big step. At the same time, arms down parallel to the floor. Make sure your two heels are on line with each other, making a line parallel with the front mirror. That's for you, Yumiko. Suck your stomach in. Exhale, breathing in, you go now. Not because Yumiko doesn't do it, but because Yumiko is a mathematician. And everyone knows that two points make a line no matter what. Grab your heels from the outside, five fingers together. Roll forward and try to touch your forehead to the floor. Leg stretching, hip stretching, spine stretching, 360 degree angle stretching posture. From your coccyx to your heels, coccyx to your forehead. Keep your chin forward, a little bit chest forward, Shweta. Roll forward, a little bit more chest forward, Vivian. Roll forward, try to touch your forehead to the floor in between the feet. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms out to the side. Step your right foot back to its place and bring your arms down by your side. Very good, and then stand still. Be in your stillness for a moment. Breathe in, breathe out. Party time, cheers, have a sip of water. So, so interesting that two points, two points make a line, right? So if you're ever in an argument with someone and you, they have a point and you have a point, the only thing you're ever gonna get out of that is some linear thought. Never gonna get the circular thought that it takes to come around to see how someone else thinks or feels or perceives the world. So anyway, that being said, there's a lot of that in the Bikram sequence where we're like two, Two hips in one line. Well, how the hell else can two points be? Two points are always in one line. It's just a meditation. All right, triangle pose, trikonasana, feet together nicely, arms over your head, right leg steps to the right, a big step, four feet minimum. At the same time, arms down parallel to the floor. Push your hips forward and lean your upper body back. Turn your right foot out all the way. Turn it a half inch more. Make sure that your right foot is parallel with the front mirror. Inhale, breathing, bend your right knee and sit your hips down 
You can bounce a couple times like a motorcycle ride to make sure that you're sitting down low enough. Eventually, the right thigh bicep will be parallel to the floor. In the front mirror, your right leg should look like an upside down L, like Linda. Stay down there. Don't let your hips come up anymore. Again, hips forward, arms back, body back, lean back, chest up, spine is straight in the center. Inhale, breathing, move both arms at the same time. Bring your right elbow in front of the right knee. Stretch your right hand down and touch between the big toe and the second toe, but don't touch the floor. No pressure from your fingertips against the floor. Look up, touch your chin to the shoulder. Profile of your face exactly visible in the front mirror. Take a deep breath. Continuously stretch your left arm up. You're gonna touch the ceiling pretty soon. Right arm stretch down, left arm stretch up. In other words, two arms, shoulders stretching each other in opposite directions like natural human traction. Push your left hip forward. At the same time, push your right knee back. Touch the toes. Upper body turn or twist back. Keep your left knee locked and your left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come up. Very good. Turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot out. Bend your knee and sit your hips down. Sit down so that the thigh femur bone is parallel to the floor. Push your right hip forward and bring your left knee back towards the back wall. Very nice, Scott. Arms back, chest up. Inhale, move both arms at the same time. Bring your left elbow in front of the left knee. Stretch your left hand down and touch between the big toe and the second toe. Look up, touch your chin to the shoulder. Profile of your face visible in the front mirror. Five fingers together, stretch up. Hips down, body up. There should be a big gap, triangle shape, between the upper body and the thigh. Your two arms in one line in the front mirror, also from the side. Push your right hip forward. Push your left knee back. Don't lean any weight from the elbow against the knee. Upper body turn or twist back. Keep your right knee locked and your right foot flat on the floor. And how come up? Turn your left foot in. Step your right foot back to its place and bring your arms down by your side. Stand still for a moment. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's do that again. Feet together, arms up, right leg step it to the right, four feet minimum. You need the four foot step in this one. At the same time, arms down parallel to the floor. But I think your step is a little wide, Scott. I think you can come a little bit, there you go. Push your hips forward, arms back, chest up. Uh, turn your right foot out, bend your right knee, and sit your hips down. Very good. So see how your knee wants to come towards the mirror, Scott? Don't let it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can keep pushing your left hip forward to keep the right knee back. Very nice. Inhale, breathing, move both arms at the same time. Everyone in the room's like, Scott, can you get it together? We want to move our arms. Look up, touch your chin to the shoulder, profile of the face, exactly visible in the front mirror. Take a deep breath continuously without stopping, without intermission, stretch up, hips down, body up. That's the way. Bring your left hip down and push it forward. At the same time, push your right knee back, but don't let the elbow go to below the knee, Haley. Upper body turn or twist back. Beautiful. Keep your left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come up. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Turn your right foot in, turn your left foot out. It's a power pose. Bend your knee and sit your hips down. Take your power back. You know what's nice? So when you take your power back, you're not taking it from anyone. Bounce and bounce. That's the way, stay down there. Arms back, body back, lean back, chest up. Inhale, breathing, move both arms at the same time. Left elbow in front of the left knee. Look up, touch your chin to the shoulder. Profile of your face visible, five fingers together, and really actively stretch your arms up and down like a natural human tug of war. Bring your right arm a little bit to the left, Vivian. Keep bringing your right arm towards the left. That's back, yes, that's the way. Upper body turn or twist back. Open your chest, keep your right knee locked and your right foot flat on the floor. And how come up? Turn your left foot in and step your right foot back to its place. Bring your arms down by your side. Stand still. Look straight ahead. Just breathe and be still. Let your heart pound. And notice that it is the magic breath that brings it back to the normal position. Standing separate like head to knee. Dande Amana, Bipaktapada, John Yushirasana. Bring your feet together nicely. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. Cross only your thumbs. Keep your arms and ears together. Chin up. Stretch up, elbows lock. Right leg steps to the right. A big step. Three feet distance, 36 inches between the feet. Turn to the right. Turn your hips five times. One, two, three, four, five times. Two hips on line, two heels on line. Backside foot should be at a 45 degree angle. Exhale, breathing into you go down. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach and touch your forehead to your knee. If your forehead and knee don't touch, bend your knee up a little bit. You've got to touch the forehead. Stretch your hands beyond your toes. Keep your elbows straight. Tilt your wrists up a little bit, Diane. Push your hands against the floor. See how your wrists are coming towards your toes? Bring your wrists up. No, you can look up at your stomach. I'll help you. Yeah, look up at your stomach, and then bring your palms right next to each other like this. Yeah, and then tilt the wrists. Exactly. Yes, exactly. No, you're forgiven. Also, no need for sorry. Excuse me for living. 
Bring maximum body weight into the right leg to get your right hip to stick up more. Then lock your knee quick a couple of times. Inhale, breathing, come up. Very good. See how you have to use the muscles of your wrists more when you do that? Oh, well, that's okay. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, you're going to have to use your biceps to get your elbows straight, but at least the wrists are in the right position. Round your, or bring your hips around with you. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. I'm going to watch you and see what you're talking about. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at those legs. Round in on your stomach and touch your forehead to your knee. Bend the knee up if you need to. Forehead and knee should touch. Stretch your hands beyond your toes. Yes, yes, yes. A little bit more wrists forward. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, if you can keep your wrists like that and try to get your elbows straight, you are in the magic zone. Bring maximum body weight into your, right, into your left leg to get your left hip to stick up much more higher than lock your knee quick a couple of times. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms and head together very carefully so that your chin comes up last. Stop in the middle. Turn to face the front. Step your right foot back to its place and then arms down by your side. Stand still for a moment. So good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's do it again. Feet together, arms up, palms together. Just cross your thumbs. Stretch up. Right leg steps to the right, a big step. Turn to the right. As you're setting your hips up, notice your arms. Really normal for the arms to feel like they're fatiguing, probably because you're trying to keep your palms together with just your thumbs. So notice that you need to use your biceps, your whole arm, really, to keep your palms together, not just the gripped thumbs. Exhale, breathing in, you go down. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, and touch your forehead to your knee. If the forehead and knee don't touch, bend the knee up a little bit. If you separate your hands for the balance, just make sure they're right next to each other, not far from each other. Bring a little bit of weight forward. That looks so good, Brittany, to get your right hip to stick up. Throat choked. Eyes open, breathing always normal. Lock your knee quick a couple of times. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms and head together. Chin up last, stop in the middle, mm, turn. You're twisting before you're all the way up, Haley. Just notice that. Use your backside foot. You're kind of twisting back center before you're all the way up. Mm -hmm. Exhale, breathing in, you go down. You see how your right hip is back, Haley, right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bend your front knee a little bit, and now try to bring your left hip back first before you, yeah, there you go. Round in, round, oh, I know. Holy hamstrings, Batman. Look up at your stomach and touch your forehead to your knee. And abs. It's never not your abs here. Stretch your hands beyond your toes, but like the front side. Bring maximum body weight into your left leg. Yes. Oh, yes. No, do that other thing. Lock. No, that. Yes, that. Lock your knee quick a couple of times. Inhale, breathing. Come up. People listening to this recording are not going to understand that. Very carefully, re-articulate your spine. Chin up last. Stop in the middle. Thank you. Step your right foot back to its place and arms down side. That was really good. One step back to the middle of your mat and towel for tree, Vadasana. Very good. You can be any kind of tree you like, except maybe a pollinating tree. That would be nice if you wouldn't do that. Bring your feet together nicely. Look straight ahead in the mirror. Grab your right foot from underneath with your left hand. Get your right leg up all the way so your heel is touching your costume, sole of the foot facing the ceiling. Slowly, carefully, gently, let your right knee come down. Push your hips forward and push your knee back, opening your pelvis. Same principle as triangle posture. Two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line, stretch up. Bring your right hand up to the center of your chest. If you can balance there, bring your left hand up, palms together, namaskar. Lock your left knee, thigh muscle contraction, suck your stomach in, focus one point in front of you, eyes open, breathing normal, Stay there, change, arms down, leg down. Grab your left foot from underneath with your right hand. Get your left leg up all the way so your heel touches your costume. Sole of the foot facing the ceiling, slowly, carefully, gently. Let your knee come down. Push your hips forward and push your knee back, opening the pelvis, two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line, stretch up. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. If you're balancing, bring your right hand up, palms together. Lock your right knee, thigh muscle contraction. Suck your stomach in, focus one point. Keep your eyes open, breathing normal. Stay there. Change, arms down, leg down. Toe stand, parangustasana. Look to the floor, approximately four feet in front of you. Steady your eyes in one spot on the floor. Put your right foot in the middle of the thigh or wherever you feel comfortable, higher, middle, lower. Palms together in prayer. 
Stomach in. Begin to bend your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your both hands, 10 fingers on the floor. Then you can bend your knee and sit your hips to your heel. Bring your hands to both sides, balancing on the fingertips. Stretch your spine up, hips up. Try to bring your right knee down, two knees in one line parallel to the floor. Left hand up to the center of your chest. Bring your right knee down a little bit more, if you can, Brittany, a little bit, yeah. And then try to center your torso. Nice. Toe stand change, come out of the asana the exact the opposite way that you went down. Wow, Brittany, that was so cool. Right hand down, right leg down, left leg up. Put your left foot in the middle of the thigh. Very nice. Palms together in prayer. Stomach in. Bend your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your both hands, 10 fingers on the floor. Then you can bend your knee and sit your hips to your heel. Bring your hands to both sides. Balancing on the fingertips, stretch your spine up, hips up. You want to try something, Brittany? Come back up. Put your hands on the floor and come back up. Now open your arms a little bit wider on the floor and come down between, bring your knee between your two arms. So as you bend, bring your left knee between your two arms, not to the outside. Exactly. Uh-huh. Very good. Left hand up to the center of your chest, if you're ready. Right hand up, palms together. The torso is more centered that way. Stretch up. Toe stand change. Come out of the asana the exact the opposite way that you went down. Left leg down, feet together, arms down side. Take a moment, acknowledge your standing series, and then let it go. Turn around and relax on your back in Savasana. Yay. Yeah, I practice this yoga too. The first time I ever practiced this yoga was in 2008 and I started out class in like long sleeves and, uh, and leggings. And by the time class was over, I had a, I had a sports bra on and um, I took off the long sleeves and I was laying on the mat thinking, I came down here, I laid down in Svasana. I had the leggings on and the sports bra on. And I was thinking, oh, if I could just leave right now, I could go put my underwear on. I could take these leggings off because I was so hot. It was just a thought I had. I don't know why I shared that with you. Maybe you've had that thought too, and I just wanted you to know you're not alone. We fly similar freak flags. That feels good. My friend was next to me, and, and as we were lying down into Savasana, I said to her, I wore too many clothes. And the teacher said, there's no talking in this room. And I remember thinking, I love him. <laughs> the only one who talks in this room is me, that's what he said. Yeah. No, my very first teacher was, uh, a young man named Brett. So I think he must have been 20 years old and he had a little speedo on. And uh, he jumped up on this little teeny tiny podium and said, and then turned on all the lights. I, I had taken yoga in the past. So when my, my friend invited me to come to yoga, I had an idea of what yoga was going to be like. And um, when all these bright fluorescent lights came on and this teeny tiny kid jumped on in a speedo and a microphone, I thought, maybe I don't know what yoga is. Maybe I need to know some new things. Wind removing pose, right leg lifted up, bend your right knee, interlock your 10 fingers and hold the leg two inches below the knee. Pull the knee down to the right shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Make sure that your left leg is straight. The left calf muscle should be touching the floor. If the calf muscle is not touching the floor, flex your left foot back. 
Chin down to the chest, get your neck flat on the floor, bring your elbows close to the body, shoulders relaxed, touching the floor. You have to pull down hard and freeze. Don't move. Don't even blink your eyes. Pull down a little extra hard, create pressure in the hip, maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Change, arms down, leg down. Left leg up, interlock your 10 fingers and hold the leg two inches below the knee. Pull the knee down all the way, completely avoiding the rib cage. Make sure that your right leg is straight. The legs in here look good. Tuck your chin down to your chest, get your neck flat on the floor, bring the elbows close to the body, shoulders relaxed, touching the floor. This is a constant pull. So take a deep breath, and as you exhale, pull. Feel yourself, bicep muscles contracting a little bit more. Press the pads of your fingers on the outsides of your hands. Nice anti-arthritic grip. Pull down a little extra hard and hold still. Change, arms down, leg down. Both legs lift them up. Reach around and grab your elbows over your legs two inches below the knees, if it's possible. Get a nice tight grip, compact, feet together side by side, relaxed position. Chin down to your chest, get your neck flat on the floor, shoulders relaxed, traction in your spine. Eventually, in the future, when you improve your skeletal system, the bone joints enough, your whole spine will be flat on the floor. Change, arms down, legs down, heels touch, feet fall open, arms by your side, Palms facing up. The hips are a magic region of the body. They hold the secrets of the universe. When, when you heal your hips, even if you heal your relationship with the hips, the energy from that spirals out, up and down, left and right, back and forth in the body. So you ever feel the compulsion to say, my hips are tight, then whatever you say after that, make it to your hips. Thank you, hips, for what you've given me. I'm going to go to yoga and heal your tightness. Second set, right leg up, interlock your fingers and hold your leg two inches below the knee. Pull the knee down to the right shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Make sure your left leg is straight. Chin down to your chest, neck flat on the floor. Elbows in close to the body, drop your shoulders down. So those three things happen at the same time. Chin down, shoulders down, elbows in. Try to do all of those at the same time. It might feel like you lift your chest a little when you do that. Chin down, shoulders down, elbows in. The right leg here massaging your ascending colon. Change, arms down, leg down. Left leg up, interlock your fingers and hold the leg two inches below the knee. Pull the knee down to the left shoulder avoiding the rib cage. As soon as you start to feel pressure in the hip, you're already getting benefits. So long as you try to make sure that you stay aligned, make sure the right leg is straight. So both hips on the floor, chin down, elbows in close. Notice if you're rolling to the left, be specific about your right shoulder down more and your right elbow in more. Pull down, hold still, left leg massaging your descending colon. Change, arms down, leg down. Both legs lift them up. Reach around and grab your elbows over your legs, two inches below the knees. Feet together side by side. Relax. Don't let your knees open, Michael. Keep your knees together. Yes, it doesn't matter if the knees come up when you do that. Knees together is the priority. Chin down, neck flat on the floor. Shoulders down, traction in your spine. Eventually, in the future, your bone joints of the spine will be flat on the floor. The tourniquet effect that you're creating in the hip is radiating a massage across the transverse colon. Change, arms down, legs down, heels touch, feet fall open, arms by your side, palms facing up, head is straight in the center, eyes open, breathe in, relax. Time for a sit up. Let's make it a good one. Bring your feet together. Flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, keep the arms and ears together. Inhale, breathing, sit up, exhale, breathing. Grab your big toes, double jerk, touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Pretty good, turn around and lie down on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, beginning with Bhujangasana, the cobra posture. Chin out, neck flat on the floor.
Get your hands underneath your shoulders with your palms facing down. Now that is a setup, Erica. I am so into that setup. All five fingers together, fingertips in line with the top of the shoulders, little baby fingers in line with the deltoids. You can bring your hands a little closer to the to shoulders. Yeah, 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 right there. Very good. Start to finish throughout the posture, feet, heels together, legs and heels together, legs, muscles contracted, hips, muscles solid, concrete one piece. You have one leg. Don't open it. Bring your elbows in close. Drop your shoulders down. Look up. Inhale, breathing. Come up, please. Lift your upper body up using your 100% back strength. Come up halfway until only your belly button is touching the floor. The rest of your upper body is in the air. At the same time, from the side, your arms make an L like a 90-degree angle. Stretch your elbows to the hips. Arms, elbows touching the body to bring the shoulders down. Trapezius muscles visible. Now chest up. Everybody come up a couple of inches. Elbows in, shoulders down. You got it, chest up, come up, hold it. Slowly lower down, chin touches down. Look to the right. Your elbows wanna peek out, Haley. When you come up, just notice that. Yeah, just notice it. I know what it is. I understand what it is. It doesn't mean you still get, it doesn't mean you can do it. <laughs> That's the nice thing about this practice is you can do as much as you can do the right way and it heals the body and you don't need to continue to feed your excuses. Well, the reason I can't do that is because of this. It goes away. It completely, completely dissipates. So pain and injury lives inside our body a lot of times in our nervous system because we let it. We allow it to stay there because we talk about it. Oh, we talk about it. Second set, chin forward. Get your hands underneath your shoulders with your palms facing down. Five fingers together. Very good. Chin forward. Legs and feet together. Make one leg. Don't open it. Look up. Inhale, breathe in. Come up, please. Lift your upper body up using your 110% back strength. Come up halfway until only the belly button is touching the floor. At the same time from the side, your arms make an L like a 90 degree angle. Very good. Stretch your elbows to the hips. Elbows to the hips. Arms, elbows touching the body to bring the shoulders down. Elbows in. Elbows in. Chest up. Chest up. Come up. Hold it. Slowly lower down. That was good. Chin touches down. And look to the left. You're going to go to the beach this summer? You can sit with this on the beach. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it makes a huge difference. So it does. Because the sand is so nice, it just buffers. The hard floor is tougher to do. You have to use more abs. I mean, more um, front side abs. You have to use more of your anterior abdominis. Look at Salavasana, arms in a straight position. Get your arms underneath your body with your palms facing down. Try to get your elbows invisible underneath your stomach. Spread your fingers apart. Grab the floor at the fingertips. Chin forward. Relax your left leg. Lock your right leg. Point your toes. Inhale, breathing. Right leg lift up from the floor to a 45 degree angle. That's half of 90. You got to come up much more, higher. Get your leg up more. Lift up more, knee locked, pointed toes, more up. Slowly lower down. Relax the right, lock the left. Inhale, breathing left leg up from the floor. See your foot come over the top of your head. Very nice with the hip shvetta. Don't let your hips twist out of a line. Knee locked, pointed toes, more up. Slowly lower down. Turn your face in so your mouth is on the towel. Readjust your hands, your palms. Spread your fingers apart. Grab the floor at the fingertips, lungs. Take a deep breath, and without bending your knees, both legs lift up. Come up. Everybody come up. Go up. Everybody go up. Struggle a little bit harder. Don't give up. Knees locked. Pointed toes. Take a deep breath and come up more. Slowly lower down. Jamie, can I take your picture in second set? I mean, there's only one answer to give me, but... Yes, you do. You know why I'm doing it? You knew, right? I saw how hard she was working in first set, and I thought, she's going to skip second set. Second set, arm straight position. Get your arms underneath your body with your palms facing down. Try to get your elbows invisible underneath your stomach. Spread your fingers apart. Grab the floor with the fingertips. Chin forward. 
Relax your left leg, lock your right leg. Inhale, breathing, right leg lift up for one, two, don't let your knees squat, three, four, pointed toes, five, six, grab the floor, seven, eight, leg up more, nine, ten, lower down, left leg up, one, two, a little bit more up, three, four, lock your knee, five, six, yes, I mean you, seven, eight, pointed toes, nine, ten, slowly lower down, turn your face in so your mouth is on the towel, readjust your hand, your palms, spread your fingers apart, grab the floor with the fingertips, full lungs, Take a deep breath and without bending your knees, both legs lift up, come up. Everybody come up, come up, go up, everybody go up, struggle a little bit harder. Don't give up, knees locked, pointed toes, take a deep breath, come up more, slowly lower down, relax. Oh, the landing was my favorite part. <laughs> She's all, can I do another time? Can I get another chance? <laughs> You crazy lady. Two is enough. Wish I'd said that. I wouldn't have all these freaking kids. Okay. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Palms facing down. Five fingers together. Chin forward. Legs and feet together. Make one leg like a cobra. Don't open it. Look up. Take a deep breath. And arms, body, head, legs. Everything lifts up. Look up and lift up. Bring your arms up. Arms back. Fingertips same level as your head. Only your hip bones touching the floor. Rest of the body is in the air. Chest up, legs together, chest up, look up. Body up, chest up, come up, more up, go up. Exhale, breathing, come up one more time. Slowly lower down, chin touches down, and relax. You look gorgeous. And you can do a third set after class if you want. Second set, arms out to the side. Palms facing down, chin forward, legs and feet together. Look up, take a deep breath, and arms, body, head, legs. Everything lifts up at the same time, like a 747 taking off. Bring your arms up, legs together, legs together. Oh, yes, nice, Yumiko. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Look up, look up, Sandy. Body up, chest up, come up, more up, go up, exhale, come up one more time. Slowly lower down, chin touches down. Were you looking up, Sandy? Or were you, were you looking at yourself? Yeah. You were looking at yourself. Yeah, I, well, you know why I'm asking? It's not to berate you. Although spank, spank, I did tell you to look up. Uh, I wanted to see if I could, was getting it wrong. I wanted to see, was I, did I, was he looking up and I couldn't tell? So like, I'm amazing. I just wanted to add that. I just wanted to add that. I... Bow down your asana, chin forward, hold your feet from the outside. You want me to stand on your knees again? Yeah, I mean on the other side of your knees, not on your knees, yeah. <laughs> chin forward, <laughs> hold your feet from the outside, grabbing just below the toes. That's what happens, your ego goes out of control and you stand on someone's knees. Look up, take a deep breath, and slowly, gently begin to kick your legs up towards the ceiling. Look up and kick up, kick your legs back, continuously keep kicking, don't stop kicking, roll forward to get your toes in the center from the side, head up more, wrist straight more, kick your legs behind you, kick more, kick harder, slowly lower down, stay there, I want you to kick with this foot a little bit and then push this hip down as you kick with that foot, yeah, very good, nice, next thing we'll work on is getting your wrist straight. <laughs> I have a project here. I'm working on Shvetsa solving world peace. Starts with the bow. Second set, chin forward. Hold your feet from the outside, grabbing two inches below the toes. So your, your fingers on your foot should be so that your pinky is right at your toe root. And then relax your grip so that your wrists are straight from the beginning. So make sure that you already start with your wrist straight. You're not wrapping your grip all the way around your foot. See how your fingers are all the way around your foot? Relax your grip that way. Exactly. Look up, take a deep breath, and slowly, gently begin to kick your legs up towards the ceiling. Good. Look up and kick up. Bring this foot out. Continuously keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. Good with the hips. Roll forward to get the toes in the center from the side. I'm going to do a little squeeze now. Head up more. Wrist straight more. Kick your legs behind you. Kick more. Kick harder. Slowly lower down. Chin touches down. Nice. I'm going to look at you a camel, too. Camel and floor bow are very similar. Mm. 
If you're super fancy, you can roll into Florbo from Camel. I know. I, I spend way too much time on Instagram. Come to the top of your mat and towel for soup to Vajrasana, the fix for impose. Sit down at the top of your mat and towel. Kneel down position, great time to have a sip of water or electrolyte rich drink. We sell some of the best electrolytes in the market. Shameless commerce section of class. Open up your heels and sit your hips down between your heels. Hips touching the floor, heels touching the hips. Remember, if your knees or your feet hurt, open your knees. Put your hands on your toes, thumbs inside, fingers outside, and carefully lower yourself down one elbow at a time. Right elbow, left elbow, your head, the back of your head, shoulders, whole upper body, relaxed on the floor. Bring your arms over your head, grab your elbows each other over your head, pull your elbows down, tuck your chin down to your chest, get the back of your neck flat on the floor, and lift your chest and your stomach to the ceiling creating a human bridge with the spine. Eventually, you can bring your knees back together. Just make sure your knees never come off the floor. Put your hands on your feet and with the help of the elbows, carefully come up. Turn around and relax on your back in Savasana. Turn around and relax on your back in Savasana. Relax, relax. You relax. Feet together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and ears together, inhale, breathing, sit up, exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, double jerk, touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around and come to the top of your mat and towel. Let's do it again. Sit down in a kneel down position and then open your heels and sit your hips down between your heels. Hips touching the floor, heels touching the hips. Put your hands on your toes. Let me, will you lift your hands for a second, Michael? Let me see where your feet are. I think your feet can come out more. Yes. Good. Then lower yourself down one elbow at a time. And you can open your knees even wider, Michael. Very nice. And then put your hands back to your toes, not on the floor, but on your toes. And really use your abs to lower yourself down. Nice. Look at that. Well done. And now bring your arms over your head and grab your elbows over your head. Pull your elbows down. Now once you're down there, tuck your chin even if the neck doesn't come flat on the floor, look down the center line of the body, lift your chest and your stomach, not just your rib cage. Eventually, you can bring your knees back together and make sure the knees stay on the floor. Listen carefully to how you come out of the asana. First, put your hands on your feet and only use your elbows, not your hands, to come up. Push your elbows to the floor and your abs to come back up. Yes! Now turn around and relax on your back. Very nice. Feet together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Arms and ears together, inhale, breathing, sit up. Exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around and come to the back of your mat and towel for Ardha Karmasana, the half tortoise pose. Sit down, kneel down position, tops of the feet flat on the floor. No gap underneath your ankles. Arms over your head, palms together. Just cross your thumbs, keep the arms and ears together, chin up. Stomach in, hips touching the heels. Exhale, breathing in, do you go down? Touch your forehead to the floor, little fingers touching the floor. The rest of the arms are in the air, elbows straight. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body, chin away from the chest. Eyes always open, breathing always normal. Hips touching the heels, stretch more forward. Inhale, breathing, come up. <coughs> Arms and head together. Relax the arms down by your side. Turn around and lie down on your back in Savasana. Nice job. Turn around, relax on your back. Breathe in. Breathe out.
Feet together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and ears together, inhale, breathing. Sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor, very nice. Turn around, let's do it again. Sit down, kneel down position. Tops of the feet flat on the floor, arms over your head, sideways, palms together, cross only your thumbs. Keep your arms and ears together, chin up. Oh my God, Michael, you look so fancy. Stretch up, stump again, exhale, you go down, hips on the heels, body on the legs, forehead on the floor, little fingers touching the floor, elbows straight. Stretch your arms forward, shoulder blades, scapula, deltoids, latissimus dorsi, spin night erector, tilt your wrists up a little bit, Michael, everything stretching forward, beautiful. Hips touching the heels, stomach in, stretch more forward. Inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together. Relax the arms down by your side, turn around and lie down on your back in Savasana. Oh boy, oh boy. Whatever your mind is set to right now, change it and say, I love camel. Feet together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and ears together, inhale, breathing, sit up, exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, double jerk, touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor, turn around and come to the top of your mat and towel for camel pose, Ustarasana. Stand up on your knees, even the name, Ustarasana makes you want to love something. Put your hands on your hips, thumbs outside, fingers facing down. Take a deep breath, push your hips forward and drop your head back. Go back halfway, stop in the middle. First only, your right hand comes down to grab the right heel. Beautiful, Shweta. Left hand comes down to grab the left heel, thumb outside, fingers inside, full palm, heel grip. Take a deep breath, eyes open. Exhale, push, stomach, legs, hips, everything forward. Push, everybody push more, push harder. I want to see a 360 degree angle backward bend for gravitation. Put your hands on your hips, chest up, spine straight, push forward, inhale, breathing, come up. Turn around and relax on your back in Svasana. So stay right there, Shvetta, and come up on your knees. See how your feet are in too close? Bring your feet out. Yeah, you need to go back like that. And maybe even bring your knees in a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can lie down. Now you can relax. Yeah, yeah, now you can relax. You're so good. She was about to go right into camel. When it's her savasana, I just wanted you to know, because you're right there, you can see it. And second set, no, you do not get eight inches between the knees because you already took that first set. Feet together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and ears together, inhale, sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around and come to the top of your mat and towel, second set, stand up on the knees, Everyone but Shveta, eight inches between the knees, six inches between the feet. Put your hands on your hips, thumbs outside, fingers facing down. It's the same thing that's happening in your uh, floor bow, this heel in and this right there, just like that. Put your hands on your hips, thumbs outside, fingers facing down. Take a deep breath, push your hips forward, drop your head back, go back halfway, stop in the middle. First only your right hand comes down to grab the right heel, thumb outside, fingers inside. Good, I bet it feels really different. Left hand comes down to grab the left heel, thumb outside, fingers inside. Can I do a little push? Take a deep breath, exhale and push, stomach, legs, hips, a little bit more on the tailbone, push more, push harder. I wanna see, yes, 360 degree angle, backward bending for gravitation. Put your hands on your hips. I'm gonna keep my foot there. Yes, wow, that was really cool. Turn around and relax on your back. I'll explain why later. Oh, you're welcome. She's like, thanks for kicking my ass. which is something I actually literally just did. Feet together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and ears together. Ex inhale, sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor, turn around and come to the middle of your mat and towel for rabbit, sasangasana, sit down, kneel down position. With the towel of your feet, grab the heels over the towel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm, heel grip. Pull on your heels as hard as possible. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. Touch forehead to the knees. Automatically, the top of your head touches the floor. Exhale, eyes open, lift your hips up. Roll forward to get your arms, elbows straight. If there is a gap between your knees and your forehead, then walk your knees up one by one until your knees are touching the forehead. Pull in your heels, lift your hips up more, Make sure your total spine is stretching top to bottom. Neck might hurt a little bit. 
Pull harder, hips up more. Change, come up. Turn around and lie down on your back in Svasana. Is that your favorite posture, Jamie? Okay, I wanna come over and make it even more your favorite. You might have to take a little detour around not favorite boulevard, but it's a detour on your way back to the highway of favorite. But I don't know, it's just a might. I might immediately resonate with you. Feet together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and ears together, inhale, sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor, turn around, sit down, kneel down position, tops of the feet flat on the floor, put the towel over your feet, grab the heels over the towel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm, heel grip, take a deep breath, nice, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, and I'm going to have you push back that way, and then round in, and touch your forehead to your knees, but don't put the top of the head to the floor just yet, put your top of your head here, good, and now suck your stomach in even more, now pull and lift your hips up, roll forward and let the top of the head touch the floor after that, push your heels towards each other, push, 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 the heels to touch, pull harder, shoulders up and away from the ears, stomach in, you got to pull harder, hips up more, now pull your heels to come out, keep your stomach in, Lower your hips down, but pull your heels as you come out. Very nice. Can I do that all the time? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How was the detour? Oh, it's fine. Okay. That's the detail I did. Like You're welcome. No problem. It's a little bit because of the way the dialogue is written. So you say, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. Touch your forehead to the knees. Automatically, the top of the head touches the floor. That automatically, top of the head touches the floor happens when you roll forward. So it's not gonna, it doesn't, you don't have to put the top of your head on the floor. I can explain it later when you ask me and you wanna know. Otherwise, you're lying here in stillness being like, please shut up. This is the only peace and quiet I get. Feet together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and ears together, inhale, sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Oh boy, turn around, face yourself in the front mirror for head to knee stretching. Janya Shrasana with Pashe Motanasana. Right leg out so that it's cornerwise on your mat. Bend your left knee and put your left foot so your heel touches your costume. Create a little pressure with the left foot sole against the right leg bicep of the thigh muscle. Arms of your head, turn to the right. Grab your right foot two inches below the toes. 10 fingers interlock. Flex your foot, feel the heel come off the floor in the air, but not the Achilles. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, and touch your forehead to your knee. Bring your elbows down next to the calf muscles, suck your stomach in, roll inside, bring your shoulder down more, left elbow down more, roll inside to the left, left knee should stay touching the floor. Get your head close with your stomach and push your knee down. Change, come up, left leg out, right leg in, arms up, turn to the left, and grab your left foot same position. Grab your toes, and pull your toes. Flex your foot so the heel comes off the floor in the air. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, and touch your forehead to your knee. Bring your elbows down next to the calf muscle, suck your stomach in, push your knee down, forehead touching position. Bring your right shoulder down more, right elbow down more. Roll inside to the right. Right knee should stay touching the floor. Get your head close with your stomach and push your knee down. Change, come up. Both legs out, careful of what's behind you. Lie on your back and sit up, please immediately grab your big toes from the top with your middle and index fingers very good sit up Haley pull on your toes as hard as possible and then walk your hips back right left right left 10 15 times until your both knees lock then bend your elbows down stretch your body forward from the lower spine look in the mirror get your head up chin up pull more pull harder exhale breathing and pull your goal is to touch your head to your feet change, come up, turn around, and relax on your back in Savasana. Very good. You notice not a lot of time in these last couple of postures, so make sure you get right to it. Feet together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and ears together, inhale, sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, let's do it again. Right leg out, left leg in, legs look like a 90 degree angle, arms over your head, turn to the right, grab the right foot two inches below the toes, flex your foot, tuck your chin to your chest, 
Look at your stomach and touch your forehead to the knee. Make sure the forehead and knee touch, a little pressure there to the pituitary gland, maximum pressure in the throat and in the abdomen. Again, this is a marriage between the pancreas and the kidneys, the thyroid and the pituitary gland. Change, come up. Left leg out, right leg in, arms up. Turn to the left, grab your left foot, same position. Grab the toes, all 10 fingers. Yes, I mean the thumbs. Yes, I mean you. Pull your toes back, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee. Right shoulder down more, right elbow down more. Roll inside to the right. So as you roll your left, your right shoulder down, suck your stomach in. Roll inside, feel the compression of the abdominal wall. Change, come up, both legs out. Careful of what's behind you, lie on your back and sit up please. Immediately grab your big toes from the top. Well, those sit-ups were good, despite my terrible clap. Pull on your toes and walk your hips back 10, 15 times more until your both knees lock, no knees, flex your feet. Heels come off the floor in the air. Then you can bend your elbows down. Stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Look up, head up, chin up, pull. Exhale, breathing, and pull. Continuously keep pulling. Nice, Diane. Without stopping, without intermission, you're going to touch your head to your feet. Change. Come up, turn around, and relax on your back. Nice. Feet together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and ears together, inhale, breathing, sit up, exhale, grab your big toes, double jerk, touch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor, turn and face the windows for spine twisting, Ardhamansi and Drasana. Bend your left knee on the floor, put your right foot over the left knee corner, heel at the knee, foot flat on the floor. Your both hips should touch the floor comfortably to keep your spine perfectly straight, perpendicular. Left arm up, bring the elbow in front of the knee, push the knee back. And turn your wrist, grab your left knee with your left hand. Look down, see three things touching. Hand, heel, knee, all touching at the same spot on the floor. Stretch your spine up. Bring your right hand on your back and reach for the thigh behind you. Turn your fingers out, Scott. If your hand is up, exactly. Push it, oh no, you did it. Push against the floor, get the spine straight, chest up, spine up, rib cage open. Look back behind you, look over the shoulder, make sure the neck is twisting back, total spine twisting all the way, coccyx to the neck, joints of each and every vertebra and cartilage are supposed to be stretching up and twisting back like a pearl necklace. Change. That was awesome. Bend your right knee on the floor, left foot over the right knee corner. I heard you say no, and then you did it. Right arm up, bring the elbow in front of the knee, turn your wrist, grab your right knee with your right hand, stretch your spine up. Bring your left hand on your back. As a beginner, you can put your palm flat to the floor behind you with your fingers facing out. Push against the floor to keep your spine straight. Chest up, spine up, look over your shoulder. Chin over the shoulder. Total spine twisting all the way left side. Coccyx to the neck. Joints of each and every vertebra and cartilage. I'm gonna do little baby touches. You Haley, okay? Yeah, like chin, like that, like that, like that. Look back and twist and twist to the last chance twist. Change. Turn around, you're welcome. Relax on your back. Really normal not to get any corrections in this posture because everyone's like, come on, we gotta go. Twist and twist, come on. Bring out that sponge, we're done with the dishes. Feet together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and ears together, inhale, sit up, exhale, grab your toes, double jerk, pitch forward to the knees, elbows to the floor, well done, turn around and sit down in a kneel down position for a final breathing exercise, Kapalabhati in Vajrasana, the blowing and firm. Sit down, rest your hands on your knees, relax your shoulders, relax your abdominal wall. This is an exhale only. You blow up very strong by the lips. Pull your belly in, inhale happens automatically. Look straight ahead, concentrate, meditate. Start please. Well done, second set's a little bit faster. Look straight ahead, breathe easy, concentrate, meditate, start please. Well done, honor yourself. 
honor your practice as you see fit and then relax on your back. Turn around, lie down and relax. Take the next two minutes in stillness for yourself. This is the most important part of class. You can only get here by thinking so about each moment of class. Every moment of class is important, is the most important moment. When you arrive here at Nirvana, it is only thanks to the fact that you were present with your practice. Honor your stillness here with that mindset. Lie still, breathe in, breathe out. Notice your heart rate, your blood circulation coming back to the normal position. Always know that when your heart is pounding, your blood is boiling, you can always come back to your breath to calm and soothe your nervous system through the process. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. It is a gift, an honor, and a privilege. Thank you for sharing your practice with each other, showing up to share a communal space to take care of yourself, to honor, to be a part of the peace process. And thank you for choosing this studio. Come back as soon as you can. Have a wonderful rest of today. Namaste.